Okay, this is going to be a quick video on the newest addition to the strategy optimizer. In this video, I'm going to go over the exit signals input for the strategy optimizer. We're going to be talking about how to use those to set up and run the strategy optimizer. So if you want to test any indicator on trading view, you normally have to turn them into a back testing script, a strategy, or you can actually take the outputs and run them through another script that's already defined as a strategy. And that's what this one does. So in the code here, you can see this one is a strategy and it's got actually set up so it can accept inputs from any other indicator. And it has to be an indicator. It can't be outputs from another strategy. Those don't work. So we're gonna be accepting an input from our signal generator, which is just a random signal generator. And you just go here and you click this box for the entry source and we're gonna select the signal. This is this indicator down here and it just generates the ones and negative ones, anything else. And you can see the output over here. If I go to the data window, click this button, go to data window, you can see the outputs from each of the indicators you have active and the strategy optimizer is here. The signal generator is here. The signal right now is currently zero, but if I hover over here, now it's a one, that's a negative one, negative one, zero, right? And I can change, I have a bunch of different outputs for this, right? So there's the RSI, uh, a logistic map equation, a random, a unit impulse, a unit step synthesizer, which is down here. So we'll just use one, no, we'll use the RSI. So the RSI is gonna be our signal generator here. And this is based off of if it's greater than 70, then it's a sell signal. If it's less than 30, it's a, it's a buy signal. So it's a very basic RSI signal generator. This is just to test things, okay? This is not a strategy. So we're feeding that now into the strategy optimizer here. You can see that. And now whenever this indicator, the strategy optimizer sees a one, it's going to buy. And whenever it sees a negative one, it's gonna sell. And you can see that here if you hover over the eye. And then now we have a date filter in here. So we can filter when it trades, take trade directions in only long, short, or both directions and have opposite signals reverse to position. Okay. And our risk to reward, it's going to use a stop loss and ATR stop loss. There's a couple other options in here. And since this is open source, you can expand on this. If you know how to program in PineScript, if you don't, I have a more advanced version of this, but this is the stop loss set up the ATR. You can mess with these settings and then once you have the stop loss set up, it'll set the take profit based off of this, you know, one point, a, a reward of 1.5 on your risk. So for example, we get a long entry here. This is our risk and our, our reward was 1.5 of this. So it doesn't really look like 1.5, but we stretch it out is one and a half of that. We can do two, maybe that looks a little bit better here. Yeah, so that would be two, just two of these red, two of our risk. So that's how the, exit is set up right now, but there's also another option where you can come in here and you can have an external exit source instead of the stop loss we're using here. So the stop loss will always be here. You should always start with the stop loss, but if you have another trigger, whether that's going to be another indicator and you want to use that trigger to exit early, um, you can use this and it's going to follow the same format where the exit signals will be negative one, um, and positive one. So. Technically, you could set this to the same signal here, um, and it's going to exit when you get an opposite signal, right? Um, it might conflict with the settings where we have, you know, uh, reverse positions on the opposite signal. Here, we're getting a plus one to the stop loss, plus one. Um, right now, it, it might not happen because our our stop and our, our take profit are tight enough where the signals aren't reversing um, right away. So let's just do it the other way around where we have um, this one. So I'm actually using two outputs from this signal generator here. And this could be a, from a completely different indicator, right? You could have 20 indicators. Um, you only can use one at a time, but you could have more than one exit source. Now this is only set up as one. So we have an entry signal. And then now we have an exit signal and this will be additional to your stop loss. And, you know, I'm going to use this signal generator as well. But if you know, if you look down here in the data window, you can see there's another plus one, negative one signal. And all that is, I just, I just added it to this, this, I just, I added plots, um, instead of the original signal 
generator based on the signal selection, you know, because we're able to come in here and select which signal we want. Well, now I just, now I'm, now I'm just plotting one right here, one and one, which is going to be the plus one and negative one option that you would get if you selected this. Okay. That's all that is. And I'm only displaying it in the data window. I'm not displaying it down here because it might muddy things up. That's where you see it right here. So we're going to constantly get a one and negative one going back and forth. So if I, if I select that in the strategy optimizer, this, then it should basically, um, close right after we enter, regardless of where the stop loss is. So to make that a little bit better, let's just make this wider, make this like something crazy, like five, make this even bigger the way. The ATR is going to be a lot wider, but we'll do pivot points. There we go. All right. So there's no way we're hitting a TP or a stop loss here, but we're still closing. And that's based off of this exit signal here. We entered long here in the data window. We have, you know, the signal generator, which is an exit signal and they have one, and then we're getting an exit. So that's, that would be how you would set that up and how you would use that. If you have any further questions, uh, let me know and happy trading.